Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Gaming It Out. Uh, today, I wanted to make a standalone video on how to install mods, and we're going to do it with Bepin EX and NSLIM. Uh, I do have another video, a couple of videos actually, where I showcase mods, and in one of them I'll, I walk you through how to do this, and there's a moment where I misspeak, and you can't see what I'm doing on the screen. It's causing a little confusion, so I wanted to make a correction for that, and make sure that I really thoroughly walk you through how to do this so that you guys can get rolling and, and start playing around with these mods. So something to consider, if you want to use Bepin EX and NSLIM, you're going to want to do Bepin EX first. In my experience, if I do NSLIM before Bepin, it doesn't work. So we're going to do Bepin EX. If you already have Bepin EX installed and you want to just see NSLIM, jump to the timestamp below and we're going to go through installing NSLIM uh, VML. But first we're going to do Bepin EX. I want to I want to clear up any confusion and get you guys rolling with these mods. I've got a few more videos on mods coming out soon, so uh, be sure and subscribe if you want to see what we got going on. We got some really fun mods <laughs> that we're going to be going over soon. So the first thing I want you to do, I'm going to link all of these below, so go ahead and click the link that brings you to the Bepin EX mod pack, or, or, or mod manager rather and have that ready. I want you to make a new folder on your desktop. You can call it whatever you want. This one's called Valheim Mod Downloads. This is just gonna be a place where we can kind of stack all of the mods that we're gonna to get together so that they're all in one place. You don't have to hunt through your downloads folder. This is just gonna keep things more organized for you. Maybe the game updates at some point, you have to reinstall your mods or you have to come update your mods with new downloads. Whatever it may be, this keeps it organized. So make yourself a folder for, for your new mod downloads to go into and have it ready to roll. Again, starting with Bepin EX, we're going to click Manual Download. It's going to download this zip folder. I want you to just click it and drag it over into that mod, that Valheim Mods folder that you just created. So now you've got this zip folder inside of this folder, okay? I want you to right click, extract all, let it extract. It's going to, by, by default, it's going to want to extract it into the same folder. So now you're going to have this fo folder that looks just like this, but it doesn't have the zipper on it, right? Now you have access to all of these files. I want you to open Steam, go into your library, go down to Valheim, right click, manage, browse local files. What this will do is bring you to the directory for Valheim where everything is going to need to go. Okay, yours is going to look a little bit different than mine because I already have these things installed where I'm still just going to install right over the top of it. So don't worry about the fact that you don't have some things that I have in my folder currently. Yours will look like mine, more similar to mine shortly. Now what I want is to open the folder that you just extracted. And then in here you've got a few things. I want you to open this one too, Bepin EX underscore Valheim. And this is the part in the last video where I misspoke and I had this folder off screen so you couldn't see what I was doing and I said it wrong so I, it's causing some confusion rightfully so. This is this was my screw up. What I said was drag the BEP and EX folder over. What I meant to say was select everything inside of here, inside of this folder. So after you open up this BEP and EX pack Valheim folder, I want you to select everything in it and drag it over into your Valheim directory. When you drag it over, make sure that it's not hovering over another folder or anything. Just drag it down here into the white space below so that it drops it in the directory and not into another folder. It's probably not going to ask you if you want to replace any files because you haven't done this yet. If it does, just click replace. It's not a big deal. You'll see I'm about to reinstall over the top of everything I already have and it's not going to be a big deal. So now you've got BEP and EX. So any mods dependent on that, and if you if you remember, if you noticed here, 198 other mods depend on this mod. That's there's a ton of mods, and again, I cover. I think I've got a video, two videos now where I cover six mods total that are BEP and EX mods. So I'll card to one of those above if you want to go check those out if you haven't seen them yet. I'm assuming a lot of you may be here from one of those videos because I'm going to go back and card. Uh, to this video from there. But now Bepin EX is installed. Any mods that, that depend on it, you're good to go with. Now we're going to move on to NSLIM. It's going to be a very similar process, but again, you're going to want to make sure that you do the Bepin EX mod manager first, because for whatever reason, if you do NSLIM first, in my experience, it hasn't worked. So now you've clicked the link to come to the NSLIM page. You're going to click on files. You're going to come down. You're going to click manual download. If you've got a, an account, a premium account, you can do the fast download. Otherwise, just do the slow. It is not really 
that slow to be honest. Again, same thing. I want you to drag this from here into that Valheim mod downloads folder that we made earlier, okay? Now, same principle. I want you to right click. I want you to extract all. It's going to do the same thing. We're going to bring back up our Valheim directory. In the inslim folder that just got created when you extracted, I want you to open it. It's kind of a two folder setup, so open that folder as well. Again, same thing as last time. We're going to select everything here, drag it over into the directory. Again, make sure you're not hovering over any other folders or anything. Just hit the white space below. It's going to ask you if you want to replace files in this destination because there are some, some similar files in this mod manager, manager as there are in Beppin. So it's going to ask you if you want to replace. Click yes. And now your directory is going to look a little more similar to mine. And when you're ready to install mods, that, that I cover in the other video. But if it's a Beppin EX mod, you open up Beppin EX, you go into plugins. This is where you'll, you'll put your mods. And if it's an Inslim mod, this is where you'll put your mods, okay? And now you're ready to roll. So now what you can do is open Valheim, and you don't even have to download any mods to test this. You're going to know right away if we're in good shape. When we, when, we, when we run Valheim, it should open up a, a window that you haven't seen before. It's, it's kind of a black window with white text in it that's going to be scrolling. It's loading things. And then you should get another little pop-up that says Bep and EX and Slim are running. So let's see if we did it right and everything's good to go. There's that window, and there's our pop-up. Modded Valheim client launching in Slim plus Bep and EX. Click OK. Make sure you don't close that window that opened. You're going to want to leave that open. And your Valheim game is going to look different. If everything went well, your main menu should look very different, and you'll be ready to roll with the mods. Let's, let's see if we're good to go here. And there you have it. Beppin EX plus Inslim VML. Now you're ready to roll, and uh, <laughs> welcome to the world of modded Valheim. It's such a fun experience, man. There's so many good mods. The modding community is amazing for this game. Uh, and, and now you can click Mod Discord and head over and see what people are doing and, and get some advice if you need any advice with anything like that. But uh, it's fantastic. I hope that this cleared up any confusion. I hope that this was easy to follow and that you guys uh, did this without any trouble. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything. And that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Hope it helped. We'll see you next time.